You see, I have been the host of the most premier game shows in the live streaming space. But today, boys, let's flip the script. Because so long I have made others answer questions that sometimes I don't even know the answer to. And I've done this in the past, a simple game called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Where I try to challenge you guys to get to the top. But let's flip the script. Let's put the pressure on me. I'm gonna give myself one hour to get to the million dollar mark in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? If I get it, I am a champion and you all have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Legally binding. You will be arrested by really scary policemen. But if I fail, if it takes me more than an hour, if I don't get it, then I will give one person in chat $1,000. Does that sound good? Does that sound like a plan? I will play normal difficulty. Respectfully, I'm gonna say this now, so you won't deal with any scam wigs in the future, because let me tell you, my mind wanders. All right, let it be known right now, I will not go to easy mode. If I went on easy mode, that does not count. Fair, fair. Why does that look exactly like me? What? <laughs> with a shitty mustache? Why does that look bar for bar like me? The timer has started. I now have exactly one hour to win. To make things a little spicier though, I will only be using one in-game lifeline, the 50-50. For call a friend, I will be only calling my friends in real life. <laughs> and for ask the audience, I will be asking chat. To what or whom does the queen ask whether she is the fairest of them all? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Lock that in, that's free. That's all time, come on. Yes. You are right. Easy, That's easy. According to the Aristro cats, what does a cat know? A uh, cat knows how to play jazz, right? Because they have that really racist scene. Let's go with. No, it's where he's at. A cat knows where it's at. That is correct. Whew, almost choked that. I was thinking of that racist scene at the end where they play the song Your in the in the bar. Everybody. What is an alternative name for the aubergine? Now, aubergine in French is eggplant. So, bilingual. I'm choosing D. Is, is this a first try, bro? Yes. Which of these is a dance similar to the Samba? Wait, what? Terra Nova's some space shit. Casanova is like a, a hot guy. Supernova space shit. Bossa Nova is like that groove in Bossa Nova beat. Because it has an offbeat in the bass note. Yes, absolutely. Bang! I only know that because the We Shop Wednesday song. How many people are sexist? Six, <laughs> seven. The threshold has been reached. Congratulations. That's five down. We're Your one third of the way through. Up. Whom did John F. Kennedy succeed as president? Oh, fuck me. No, Immediately, that, that it cannot be Franklin Roosevelt because he's so much older. It cannot be Lyndon B. Johnson because that was the vice president of Kennedy. So it's either Harry Truman or Dwight Eisenhower. Now. I believe Harry Truman succeeded Franklin Roosevelt as president in 1946. I know Eisenhower was a 50s president, but maybe it bled into the 60s. I'm gonna stick with my gut here. That's what Bang! For. Okay, That's I think right. I was right in the, I think it's Franklin, Harry, Dwight, JFK, Lyndon. I know my presidents. Which of these is a cult 1973 film directed by Martin Scorsese? No way I know this. There's no way, I have, I have zero clue. I, looking at them, I would go Mean Streets, cause that's like, the best title here, but I'm gonna call my friend. All right, let me try. Let me try calling Max. What up? What up? Yo, hey, hey, I'm live right now. I just, I was wondering. I, I, I just, I have, I have a trivia question that I'm, I'm hoping you know the answer to. Oh God. Okay. It's related to movies. Okay. You know Scorsese films pretty well. Yes. Okay. In 1973, he directed like a cult classic. It was called either A. Bad Alleys, B. Nasty Roads, C. Cruel Ways or D, Mean Streets? Mean Streets. 100%? I'm like 90% like sure. All right, I'm going to go with that. Thank you. All right. Love bye. you, bye. Bye. <sighs> okay. Shout out to fucking Max. That's where I was leaning to, so this makes me feel a lot better. You pulled it off. Bang! That feels amazing. Makes up for him not saying I love you back on the phone now in front let's of people. go to the next people. question. What? How many letters are there in a tetragrammaton? What's a tetrahedron? Like, let's start there. The a tetrahedron is how you display a shape in four dimensions, right? I feel like, and maybe I'm stupid here. Yeah, I feel like it'd be stupid if a word as long as tetragrammaton is for something that has four letters in it. Just call that shit a word. You know what I mean? 
So I'm leaning 40 here. Is it a trick question? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Why is that not an answer? Tetrahedron. Is that what I'm thinking? No, I'm thinking of a Terrasect. What's a Tetrahedron? I might ask the audience here. All right, there's a poll right now. It says D, 66% certainty. Let's just do it. I'm going to choose. If they, if you ch if chat was smart enough to band together to give me the wrong answer so that they could get one of their ranks to get $1,000, congrats to them. Final I deserve answer. this loss. Of course. Oh, boys. Complete the title of the 1983 film starring David Bowie, Merry Christmas, Mr. Magoo, Mr. Ben, Mr. Lawrence, Mr. Bond. I'm going to use my 50-50. Okay, please take away two random wrong answers. Wow. Okay. That's good for me. I was kind of hoping they would leave Bond because I was pretty confident that wasn't the answer. Now I think I'm going to go Lawrence. Well done. Yeah! Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. I thought it was wrong. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay. All right. Dude, well, imagine I one-shot well, this. go to the next question, if you don't mind. No. I never watched The Good Dinosaur. It was always ranked as one of the worst Pixar films. I never watched it. It's not Spot because that's a, ch a child's name. Henry seems a little too plain, so I'm between Buck and Nash. For some reason, Buck seems like a better dinosaur name than Nash. Who is a dinosaur in basketball terms? Let's go, Buck. And I would say B. Let's go, Buck. Obviously. Henry! Oh! This Fuck! That took 20 minutes? Oh, I have to go faster. I have to go faster. Oh my god. Back to question one. I have all my lifelines on the board. If you detect something suspicious, you are said to smell a... Smell a rat. Let's go with... A. I smell a rat. I think that's in Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes. Lock it in. In which train do Harry Potter and his fellow pupils travel to school? It's the Hogwarts Express. You Platform nine and three quarters. How many stars are there in the EU flag? 13 or 12? 13. And I would say B. It's sad, but it's the game. Go again, go again, go again. A familiar character on The Muppet Show is Miss Piggy. Let's go to C. She's so bad. Final well. Which of these is traditionally heard before a race? Opening gun, starting pistol, initiating rifle, beginning musket. Dude, this is like a fucking Reddit thread. And they just keep coming up with different names for it. And then at the end of it, it says, Hold my laser, I'm going in! And it goes to the start of another thread. I'm gonna go hey. starting pistol. You figured... What is the name of Dennis's dog in the Dennis in the Menace comic strip? Yelp? I have a good hunch that it's C. I noticed your hesitation. I, dude, I you thought I thought that's that where Yelp voice. came from. I, I I I was in my own head right there. I thought that's where Yelp came from. That was such a fucking bad answer, bro. I thought Yelp came from that. That was so stupid of me. I've I've used half my time! Okay. According to the Aristocrats, what does a cat know? Where I'm it's at. Repeat questions. That's why you keep playing. Bit of a scam. So Bit of a scam. Your... Yes. Which of these sports takes place on ice? Curling, lock it in. Get me out of here. Get me the fuck out of here. This is question seven. Me. Question seven, move on. Who became Mrs. Steven Spielberg in 1991? Whoa. It can't be Kate Hudson or Kate Winslet because they're too young. So it's between Kate Beckinsale or Kate Capshaw. Capshaw sounds right to me. I'm going to lock it in. says that it's C. That's what we were looking for. That's right. Question eight. Four lifelines up. What is the approximate percentage of water in the body of a healthy adult? Oof. I'm pretty sure it's 60. But the fact that the other three answers are so small makes the outlier 60 seem so high. And it would be absurd, ridiculous, to ask a question where the answer is either 20 or 25. They're too tight. Hey. Yes, that's Let's it. go with 60. Of course. Question nine. Cruising. In which James Bond film does Sean Connery unknowingly share his bed with a spider? I'm going to ask the audience here. Chat. What do you think? Wow. It's either Goldfinger or Dr. No. Fuck, it's not very helpful. I'm gonna assume the correct answer is B, Goldfinger, which is your most voted answer. And I would say B. What Shit! That was the run! Oh, wow. oh my fucking god, you're kidding me. You're kidding me, chat. Dude, I would've won that. Dude, come on! We have one, two, three, four, five questions left with three lifelines. Which Tibetan Lama ranks after the Dalai Lama? Now, this is interesting because this is no longer a thing. The way it works with Tibetan monks is that the Panchen Lama picks the Dalai Lama. But in the 2000s, the Chinese government kidnapped the Panchen Lama. He's not been heard from since, except some random messages from the Chinese government saying, he's really good. <laughs> he's doing really well. Uh, 
Straight A's, some B's, but like that's to be expected. Hasn't seen the outside world for 25 years. Outside of that, really, really good. Loves drawing. And I would Lock say me B, in, Poncha and Llama. Obviously. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, this could be a win right now. Which British composer wrote The Lark Ascending? I have a 50-50. I could call someone. I could call someone. I'm gonna use my phone lifeline. I'm gonna call my friend Philip. He's a composer. Hey man, what's up? Yo, Philip, I'm live. I just had a quick question for you. It's like a trivia question. I need your help on it. Oh yeah, I got you. What's up? Okay, here's a question. Which British composer wrote The Lark Ascending? Vaughn Williams. 100%? Yeah, easy clap. All right, I'm locking it in. Thank you. Peace. Peace. I love you. Lock it in, baby. That's the one. That was the he knows his shit. He knows his shit. In which animated movie does a dog turn into an alabrige? What is an alabrige? To me, the word alabrige seems French. And when a word seems French, it can also be Irish, Gaelic specifically, because there's a lot of J's in that language. So it could be brave. Or maybe that's Scottish and I'm racist. I have three questions left and only two lifelines. Let's just go My brave. Says that it's Let's C. risk it. Okay, C. It's sad, but it's the game. This is not the right answer. Oh no! I really didn't. Oh, I thought I was so right. Oh, I should have used oh, my 50-50. that was the wrong answer. I played so well that round, dude. Which of these is a correct spelling for folk, custom, or ceremonial religious act? A rite? No. It's a rite of passage. This money is... And let's go for... Sesame Street, go next. You... Complete the famous quotation from the 1966 World Cup. They think it's all over. Well, it isn't. Nice it is now might be right, though. <laughs> ah! Ah! Chad thinks it's all over. Well, it isn't. Yeah, that sounds lame. On US roads, how many sides does a traditional stop side have? Five. It's a pentagon. I noticed your hesitation. There's no way. There's no way. I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart. Fuck! Which of these is not a triangle? It is a pentagon. Because that's a stop sign. <laughs> Which of these is writing utensil with a nib? A ballpoint pen. Dude, oh, like, come the fuck on, man. You're talking about pens, bro. On question two. All right, we still have enough time. This might be the last one we can start up. Which of these is a play by Russian writer? Three sisters. Okay, okay, turn the timer off. Turn the timer off. This is the situation we are in. Good There's not here. enough time for me to start another one. So we're going to finish this one out. I don't want to get out on this one. I'm going to ask chat. I've had two lifelines before. You guys fucked me over on the last one. But I'm pretty confident that A is the correct answer. And there are a few of you trying to get me to second guess myself and go with B through D. A. Yes, that's it. Yes, you are right. I probably could have trusted my gut on that it's one, but I didn't want to risk it. Five questions left. October 18th is the feast day of which gospel writer? That's a fucked question. I have a friend I grew up with who's really religious. I could ask her. I haven't talked to her in a long time. It's gonna be it's gonna be weird if she picks up. Hello? Jen, hello. I'm sorry, I'm live on a stream. I have a question about God that I'm hoping you can answer. Oh goodness. Good thing you told me you were live. I was about to say something. <laughs> okay, that, that's don't say that, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna say anything. Okay, well, you know, this one, hey, come on, it's gonna be a good one here. Okay, what's your question? Okay. I'm now. No, you, look, if you fail this, you're just not a Christian. Anyway, the question, I get it. simple. October 18th is the feast day of which gospel writer? Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John? Um, it's. Oh, shoot. This is just a wild guess, Mark. 100%? How, how confident are you? Zero. What? I've never heard of that in my life. Like, like, okay, which one is, who's like the most famous gospel writer? Like, who does everyone love? Uh, are you just quizzing me to like see if I'm a Christian and be like, see, Christians don't even know. No, uh, that would be so mean. I'm, I'm doing who wants to be a millionaire and it's the question and it's my last chance or I lose a thousand dollars and I have to pick between Mark, Matthew, Luke, or John. Why would you ask me? What do you mean? You love God more than <laughs> I do. And so I thought you would know. Oh my gosh. Luke. Yeah. Okay. That's, That's right. 
So anyway, like I was telling you all, <laughs> Christians you do know what they're talking about. <laughs> as well? Holy shit, I can't believe she got that right. I can't believe she got that right. I can't believe she got that right. Holy fuck. In which country do residents traditionally pay only half the usual amount of tax for November so they have more money for Christmas? Wow. What? Oh, gosh. Let's do a 50-50 here, and hopefully it gets rid of one of Sweden or Norway, and then I click the other. I'm going to choose D. I almost misclicked Germany, and I, I, I damn near cry myself. Okay. That's an answer I can get behind. Three left, no lifelines. This is impossible. I, I just have to guess. I have no logic. I feel confident saying no Alabama. I, I cannot believe a golfer is coming from Alabama. I just went to Idaho for the first time in my life uh, last weekend. I will tell you what. It does not seem like a place that would birth a pro golfer. If you were a farmer, you'd be fucking raking it in, though. And Massimo chooses D. You pulled it off. Okay. Whew, my stomach sank. Executed success. On which island did the actor Oliver Reed die? I don't know who the fuck Oliver Reed is. I'm going to keep it a stack. Malta is the most touristy of these. It's also the smallest. I want to go Malta, I think. That is correct. Okay. Okay. I took the time okay. To think all right. All right. Woo! In which country was the world's first air mail service initiated in 1911? Maybe I just lock in the USA, call it a day. God damn it, it ain't the it ain't the greatest time to be called an American, but it's called an American, not an American. Come on! No! Long there's long. no way! It's the end. I really didn't handle that one at all. Oh, there's no way! It's always the fucking British! God damn it! I got fucking scammed! It said the first airmail in 1911. 19 fucking 11. Would you take a look? Oh, fucking bullshit, dude. Oh, it's official because the government said it's official? What a scam, bro. What a scam.